Hey folks, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear and I am doing a different kind of comparison today. I'm comparing the old Seiko Excelsis with the brand new Seiko Excelsis that they came out with, which is kind of cool. Um, they actually are somewhat the same, but a lot different from each other. Let's start with the old one. There are six uh, actual profiles in this machine that you can program each person's profile, and there's six different ones. You can do all of the uh, drinks. Within that profile, you can do about five different drinks on the old machine. So these are all the different profiles, and you can actually put a name to it if you want to. Seiko, that's the default setting. Let's see, one, two, three. Those are the only ones uh, programmed. I know there's uh, six different settings in there. You can also do, um, right up here, uh, decaf if you want, one scoop. Right back here is the, um, the water tank. And I don't have the stats on it because this machine has been discontinued, but I'm gonna say it's around 60 ounces of water by looking at it. Right over here is the bean hopper, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight settings as far as your grind setting. And again, I'm gonna say it's gonna hold about 10 to 12 ounces of coffee. Whole bean, by the way, whole bean. No, you don't wanna put ground in there in any of these machines. Stainless steel casing, which is a little bit bigger than the new one. Uh, it has the one touch milk system right here that engages into the machine just like that. And there's also, uh, you know, a cover that goes on there when you're not using it. And you can get hot water out of this machine as well. It has the SPS system, which was the Seiko brewing system, and it would put more or less crema on the top of the coffee. They got away from that because everyone wants crema. The spouts come off. This diverted the coffee into two different spouts. It comes off and then it comes out of one. You could actually put a pretty tall travel mug under there. And steam your milk yourself, which is kind of a nice feature. Uh, the door opens with the drip tray attached, which was kind of nice. On the older machines, when you'd open the door and the drip tray wasn't attached, this would swing out and it would go drip, drip, drip all over your countertop. Now it goes drip, drip, drip into the tray on this particular model. Uh, dregs box and drip tray uh, right on the interior right here. Brew unit that comes out for cleaning. That's very similar to all the machines that we have now. Uh, this machine will actually, uh, you can have it come on in the morning, which is kind of nice. It will go into a uh, sleep mode as well. Um, those are the basics of this machine. Uh, you have all these that you can program and then within special drinks, hot milk, American coffee, espresso, macchiato, and steam. Those are the other drinks that you can do on the fly as well. Pre-infusion, wait time, brew time, that's kind of typical of all machines anymore. They all have the pre-infusion. So we're going to make a drink off of each one of these to show you the difference when we get going on it. Uh, you swing this over and the coffee comes out of the spouts back here. Milk comes out of here. And then there's a cleaning uh, process too that when you swing this back after you've used it, it sets, sends hot steamy water down through here down through the handle and into the drip tray to clean it. And then this comes off and in the fridge it goes because this is still cold milk. Let's go over to the new Excelsis. This has a hose system which holds your milk in the container. And when you get done, you take this out of here, put it over here, and it sends extremely hot steamy water down through this. I think this is a better cleaning system than the old one by far. It also gets the milk a little hotter, this system. Spouts that go up and down. That one does not go up and down. Uh, cleaning also, you can open this up and all of this comes apart so you can clean it. That's nice. And that's a magnetic door. Look at it won't let you do anything with the milk. Uh, it also has a touch screen. This is where this really differs. I can scroll across. Of course, my fingers, you know, sometimes they're just dry. I know it scrolls. It's the most intuitive screen that I've ever dealt with. It also has profiles. 
It has six different profiles that you can program five drinks in, each profile five drinks. Right now, I've only pro programmed three different drinks under Gale. I haven't finished it. But if I went in here right now and asked it to make the cappuccino, it's going to make whatever I programmed it for, which is really nice. Uh, this machine will shut off after a certain amount of time, and you can program that in the menu. It does not come on automatically in the morning. You have to actually turn it on, and two minutes later it's ready, under two minutes. So that's kind of nice. Those are all the drinks that it has. You can also go back to factory settings if you don't want to have it personally programmed for you. You can get right in there. You can do the brightness, standby time. That's what I was talking about, 15 to 180 minutes. Uh, the Aqua Clean, I'm going to show you that in a second. What that's all about, water hardness. It comes with a test strip, so you can put in the hardness. Language, sound feedback, measurement units, whether it be ounces or milliliters. And then the Clean, like I was mentioning. Let's go back to the drinks. Now, the... Dregs box is right here, and while I have that out, the brew unit on this machine is right here with that little extra drip tray underneath it. And again, this comes out, clean it with hot water once a week, throw it, let it dry, put it back in, you're set to go. This does not have a cup warmer, the new one has a cup warmer. Your bean hopper is right up here, and I'm going to say that this holds probably, it looks like it holds more than that one. I'm, I'm guessing because I don't have the statist statistic on it. I'm going to say about 12 to 14 ounces of coffee. Pre-ground right here, and your grinder setting right here. You have 12 different settings that you can dial in the grinder your coffee. Uh, rubber uh, gasket around this lid to keep your beans fresh. We like that. There was one on that one as well, the old one. Cup warmer rail up here. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Water is right over here. 68 ounces of water. And new in the more recent machines, a few machines that Seiko has, Aqua Clean Filter. This filter can go 5,000 cups before you have to change it. Change the filter and then descale. You don't have to descale for 5,000 cups as long as you're using that filter. That's a big bonus for you as the consumer and not having to buy those filters every two or three months. So that's, a, that's huge. The casing on this one is, it's a metal on the front. It's called a brushed titanium on the front here. And then the rest of it is plastic except for the uh, cup warmer up here. So, um, and that aqua clean, I was telling you about cleaning this hose. That's what this is over here. I really like the touch screen. That's what I like more than anything, I think. See, it does. It's just my fingers. They're awful dry. That is the difference between these two machines. I think they've come a long way with this interface. This is huge right here. So let's make a drink. I've got my profile up here, and I'm going to do a cappuccino. And look at you can change all of the parameters. Let's take this up. Right now, I wanted it up more like two ounces. And I also want strong. And if you do two times, you're going to get doubled. Not too noisy, like that. It's going to do the milk first. At any time, if I want to interrupt this, I don't want that particular, what I have it programmed for, all I do is hit that button. Pre-infusion. Wait time. And brew.
and latte art. Half moons, two of them. I'm mostly looking for what is the foam texture like and how is the temperature. I can tell you that it's hot. The coffee part is very, very hot. And the foam texture, it's pretty darn good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another drink on the old Excelsis in the same cup. But first I'm going to go rinse it out. So bear with me for a second. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. Let's, uh, get I'm just going to do the cappuccino that it's programmed for. Swing that over. On the old Excelsis, you don't have as many options as far as the, uh, how many ounces of beans get, or grams of beans get <laughs> brewed. Ounces, that would be a huge cup of coffee. And again, you can interrupt, it says stop milk right there. Once it starts making the milk, you can interrupt it. Okay, I'm going to interrupt that because I, I want it to be similar to the other one as far as coffee and all goes. I think it takes a little longer to cool down. The steam is always going to be a little hotter than the brewing. That seemed to take a little longer than the new Excelsis to cool down. Green Fusion, wait time again. that. The foam looks to be about the same. I mean the looks of it is very similar. Not as hot. It doesn't even taste as good. And it's the same coffee. Uh, by far the new one is better as far as taste goes. And it's a little bit hotter. Yeah, so on this one you'd swing this back over to clean it. And then on this one, you would take this and put it down in there and push the clean button. Similar, but this is still a better system. Their new system is a lot nicer and much cleaner, I think. So that is the old Excelsis versus the new Excelsis on the market. If I was choosing this one here, I like the interface. I like the quality of the drink and I like the cleaning. So there you go. That's our comparison of the two machines. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to leave comments down below and we always appreciate it when you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Cheers.